This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, what you just heard there was a guitar solo, quite obviously, from a Top 40 pop song. Do you remember when Top 40 pop songs used to have guitar solos? That's a while ago, isn't it? Not only that, a guitar solo which changes key halfway through for no other reason than it just sounds good um that was uh in case you uh, don't know and i suspect you probably won't uh the solo from a one hit wonder from 1979 by an absolutely fantastic band called the jags the song is called back of my hand or i got your number on the back of my hand um and as I say, the Jags were the band responsible for that. Um, I'm doing this because I'm doing this video because somebody in the comments recently, um, I forget who, I do apologise, uh, basically asked for this particular guitar solo, and I'd forgotten just what a great catchy song it is. Tell you what, just for the giggles of it, I'll make a, a link in the description to um, to the original song, so you can uh, go back and listen to just how good, um, you know, throwaway pop songs were in the late 70s but I digress let's crack on by having a little bit of a look at what's going on in the solo solo explanation okay as ever let's begin by looking at the chord sequence we're playing over here it is here and you can see it's kind of in two separate parts we've got the first uh, half of it the top line which we go twice through and that is largely based around a C sharp minor chord sequence um, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, A and B. Essentially, we're in uh, the C sharp Aeolian mode there, if you're interested. And more on that in a moment. Um, then the second half of it just changes out of nowhere. Big old key change from C sharp minor to G major. And uh, basically, put together, it uh, ends up sounding like this. change back to C sharp minor for the uh, re-entry of the next part of the song I think it uh, goes back into the vocals at that point so obviously you're not going to be able to sit on one particular scale throughout all of that you're going to have to play to the changes somewhat and that's exactly what happens here uh, we start off by using um, essentially the C sharp natural minor scale or Aeolian mode whatever you want to call it best way to think of that is C sharp minor pentatonic so we can play position 4 of C sharp minor pentatonic here <laughs> Then uh, there's two chords in this chord sequence that contain an A note. C sharp minor pentatonic, by the way, is the notes of C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and B. Now we've got an A chord in the chord sequence, which obviously contains an A note. And we've got the B chord, which contains a D sharp note. So all we've got to do is add in those uh, A and D sharp notes into our C sharp minor pentatonic and we get the scale that looks like this. Like that. And it's that position there where the first few licks in the solo uh, essentially come from. We start off with this. Like 
like that. And then we've got it's a very l melodic little piece that I think. Uh, then we're going to that there. That's sort of almost like a country kind of lick. Just bending up there. Typically, when you do that kind of bend, you would usually go for the the note at this fret, like that. But it's just a nice little touch here that he's putting this A note on in on top there. Then we're heading towards the uh, the big key change, and we need to uh, build up some something of a head of steam, and we do it just with this little lick here. Basically repeated instances of that, and then when we get, uh, which I'll just play that slowly. Is. Just kind of coming off that little uh, pull off there, that C sharp to B. Like that. That kind of thing. As I say, basically a couple of bars of that lick, and then we slam down into, when the G chord arrives, a G major pentatonic lick. Uh, G major pentatonic. <laughs> coming down there like that and this has almost like a kind of a rolling stonesy kind of feels you know kind of reminds me of that a little bit you know honky tonk wind but we're going kind of then we keep the G major pentatonic thing going throughout the next run here we go up this little run here So just straight up um, a G major pentatonic, basically. That run there. Then we go to... Bringing in the F sharp note here, sort of implying the uh, G major skill. G major pentatonic is G, A, B, D, E. And the F sharp note there, we can add that in because of the D major chord, which has an F sharp note in. Um, and then... Then we start playing some G major scale thirds, some double stops. Um, basically, I've talked about uh, double stops in the past, but uh, if I start uh, a G major scale on the G string and go G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, like that, then if I go three notes up that G, A, B, well, that takes me to the same note as the second string. So I can go up... Um, the second string, the B string, uh, going B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. And if I pair those notes up together, I get... a set of um, G major scale thirds. And that's basically what we've got going on here for essentially the rest of the solo. We start with... that there. So it's essentially coming down from that pair of notes there to this pair of notes here via these and then to there. So here's that little run. Then we move back up again um, using a nice little triplet bass rhythm. Like that so... And then continuing the thirds up there to that A and C. And then when the C sharp minor chord comes in again at the end of the solo, the beginning of the next part of the song, uh, we just move that little shape up there. So we've got a C sharp note and an E note, which are two of the notes in a C sharp minor chord. So that whole final section goes like this. So, you've got a lovely little solo there, nice and melodic, using uh, the C-sharp Aeolian mode, uh, like this. And the G major pentatonic. And 
on some G major scale thirds. So, lots to get your teeth into there, so go away and have some fun with it. And there is, of course, a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing the solo and that little explanation clip there, and the jam track to play along with. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is, of course, in the description. It's only $3 a month or £2.50, and you get access to all of these extra resources that go along with these YouTube lessons. Thank you so much to everybody who supports me in that way, or any of the other ways, all of which are linked down below it is massively appreciated uh truly truly grateful and that is pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video found it useful inspiring and if you're old enough maybe a nice little trip down memory lane uh, if you've enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer we talk music we talk guitars what's not to like about that great way to kick off the weekend i would love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now.